Hi, I will be talking about the importance of data quality, in particular the labeling of documents. Consistent and concise labeling becomes important especially when searching your patient panel for panel management purposes and also for simple everyday searches within the virtual chart. Now we are in currently in a test patient docu filer and there are three areas where you can name or label any document. There is the first drop down here is the document type. The one below it is the document subtype. This may or may not be enabled in your EMR but I highly recommend that uh, if it isn't that you consider doing that. And then the third, the description area. Now I recommend that you use the document type as a general document descriptor. So this would be broad areas that that encompass many different types of documents but all basically originating from the same type of service. So for the sake of this test um, uh, test panel we have diagnostic imaging documents which is pretty vague, hospital all documents that come from hospital, laboratory results, referral letters and test results. Now the subtype, once you enable it, you can add in, so you see here uh, under diagnostic imaging, the uh, types of documents you can add in by going into manage a whole bunch of other ones. And we'll just go through a few others here. We have referral letters, and if you click there, then you can give the broad uh, descriptor of what type of specialist, and you can add all that you want. One of the problems with a lot of clinics is that the document type is actually a list of 500 types of documents and staff really have a hard time you can, uh, scrolling through that and figuring out which one to call it. So when you divide up things into more broad categories and then more specific descriptors in the subtypes you have a much easier time of having consistent labeling done. The description uh, can have other details, uh, combined tests, let's say you have a mammogram and a breast ultrasound, you could add that information here. But for the sake of argument and making it easier for staff uh, to actually sort the documents, it's a very good idea to use the general document type as a broad descriptor and a more specific descriptor under the subtype for searches within the EMR and also within the query builder.